Hello and welcome to this section of Mastering Excel. I'd like to turn your attention to a different sheet here. I've got um, some students in a classroom, uh, Jason, Jennifer, Jake, Sally, Sam, and uh, Shelly, and I have their final grades. So this, these are grades out of 100, right? Now, this is a small number of students, so I really don't need to do a lot of heavy lifting computations, but what if I had a college class of 200 kids or something, and I needed to do some, some analysis on it? So one thing I might like to do is to figure out who has the maximum or the highest grade in the class. And so Excel has a function for that. You could probably guess that you could just start typing in max, and you, you would see that it's there. But I also want to turn your attention, if you go to the auto sum, you have sum and average, and we've done that. Uh, there's max and min here. So I can just click max, and it's going to try to guess, but it's usually not going to guess right, depending on how I've set things up. So I'm just going to tell it, hey, my data is right here, and hit enter, and it'll tell me that the maximum grade is 95. All right, so I can do a minimum, and in this case, I'll go ahead and put an equal sign, and I'll just say, well, if, if max was MAX, then min is probably going to be MIN. So it tells me it returns the smallest number and a set of values. So I'll hit tab to put it there. It's asking me what numbers do I care about, so I'm going to highlight those and hit enter, and it'll tell me that the smallest grade, the minimum grade, is uh, 87. And there are lots of other things that we can 